a dream come true. A dream become reality, one that I've been waiting for for months now. Pataraka, yes, <laughs> it's finally here. The time is here. You have to step in the ring with me. You know, there's one issue that we have to decide on. You blame me for all the losses, for all the terrible things that happened to bad company. You said I was the weak link. Well, let me tell you something. Now you have to face me one on one. And when I take you, and I beat you, and I beat you to a bloody pump, and then pin your shoulders to the mat, the wrestling world, right here on ESPN, and everybody else, will have no doubt as who the weak link was. And yes, Tanaka, once you're done and out of the way, then I can concentrate on something much more important. It might be Larry Lamb and Larry Zabisco. So Zabisco, get ready, because Hard Rock, it might be coming your way. Well, we heard from Hard Rock Paul Diamond. Now let's go over to Pat Tanaka's locker room and get a comment from him. Hey, Diamond. Time's ticking away. How do you feel? It's only a few more minutes till the end is near. And you, my friend, are the one that's going to end. Well, as we've seen and heard, the situation of the feud between Hard Rock, Paul Diamond, and the sensei, Pat Tanaka, goes all the way back to the days when they were the tag team champions of the world in bad company. Well, I'm sure both participants are anxious to do their talking in the ring. And as we can see, Paul Hard Rock Diamond is making his way into the ring area. So let's go to Lee Marshall and Nick Bockwinkle for today's main event. This is what wrestling fans all around the world have been waiting to see, and you're seeing it right here on your Total Sports Network, ESPN. A parting of the ways, the former tag team champions of the world, the Sensei Patanaka, the Hard Rock Paul Diamond. So long they held the world championship together. So long they were a team together. And now you see them in the ring, no longer together, kept apart only by referee Gary Derusha. If you can see the intensity in the eyes, some of the cameras will not be able to pick up the shots close enough. There is such tremendous feeling of intensity here when two people who were partners, who were very close, who shared a lot, and all of a sudden, now, for the reasons that all families have seen, the schisms that break them up, whether it's religious or whatever, you can tell. Now, we're just shoving right here, and you can see the, you can sense and feel the ferocity that both these people are feeling towards each other. And certainly the strength of the Hard Rock Paul Diamond as he put Pat Tanaka down. The last time I talked to Paul Diamond, he said, you know, Lee, there was a time, yeah, I did some things. I did some things with Tanaka I'm not very proud of, but I'm gonna show you who was the better half of Bad Company, and it's me. And he's got a chance to prove it right here on ESPN. Well, there's always that question when you have a really an excellent tag team. Which one is really the best? Which one that cohesively holds that team together? Chop, and a headbutt. Look at these a two third guys. headbutt by Tanaka. Yeah, Another right hand See what Tanaka. they're doing to each other. Oh. It makes you wonder. Another right hand by Tanaka. And he throws Diamond out. Each shot by each man is right on the money. Here comes Diamond. Oh. He fires back. Oh. Two right hands set Tanaka down. And Tanaka heads to the floor. Oh, Tanaka holding his head. He took two thundering right hands from the street fighter, the hard rock, Paul Diamond. Usually the one who feels he was jilted, usually the one who feels he was being sincere and honest in a relationship is the one who's hurt the most. And the one who's hurt the most, in this case, I think uh, possibly Paul Diamond feels he is. And you may sense a little higher degree of I want to get even. Well, there was a time... When their manager, Diamond Dallas Page, the only person that he would talk to would be the sensei, Pat Tanaka. Diamond couldn't figure out why he was excluded from meetings, why he wasn't being invited over to Diamond Dallas Page's home, why he wasn't going out with Tanaka, why they just weren't together as a team. And sure enough, it has all led to this. And as you said, the one that feels jilted, and that would have to be Paul Diamond, he is on a mission tonight. And it also, too, becomes a maturing factor. Six months ago or a year ago, Diamond may not have been in the show. But I mean, when, you, when I see a tackle throwing like that one, with, with the, the crispness of the move that is made, I know that determination and that maturity has come into his being. Well, what a switch by Tanaka. He's got him in the scissors. Say what you will about Paul Diamond, and you can say volumes about it. Big, strong, a man that I quite, quite honestly think could challenge at one time for the heavyweight championship of the world. But the sensei, Pat Tanaka, three times the AAU Greco-Roman champion, three times the AAU freestyle champion.
champion. I mean, you want to look at one of the greatest amateur wrestlers of all time, you don't have to look any further than this, this young man from Honolulu. Absolutely. In there now with his former partner. As you said six months ago, a year ago, both these guys wore the belts, the very belts that you and Ray Stevens wore five separate times as tag team champions of the world. Escape by Diamond. He's got Tanaka. To, oh, the Rusha. He was three inches away from hitting that mat for a third time. It's amazing. You have tremendous confidence as you, as you become successful in this sport, as you do in any of the sports. But then all of a sudden, you run into a battle where you know all of a sudden that you are going up against somebody who is equally your, has the ability that you do. And you wonder whose feelings are running deeper. And you, you, you do start to doubt yourself in this match right now as both of them are there. And he's holding on to that head scissors. He's still wondering. Both of them are wondering. I asked you not that many weeks ago if there was a time when you and Ray Stevens had fought each other after you had both been tag team champions of the world. Your answer was yes. Yes, there had been. Let me ask you this. Did you know all of Ray Stevens' moves and he yours? And what I'm really asking is, does Tanaka know everything that Diamond's got? Does Diamond know everything that Tanaka's got in his arsenal? It was my style to study Ray. I studied not only my opponents, but I studied my partners. Ray was kind of a, a free-thinking soul. He didn't worry about it that so much because he was such a natural talent. Oh, yeah. so he didn't feel he had to do that. So I would venture to say that I knew Ray probably better than he knew me. Well, what about these two? I don't know each man personally enough. I, it's, it's difficult for me to really make a, a synopsis on that. But I know, like we've said already, the, the one who oh. was jilted, the one who was slighted, he's the one who feels that he's been put down and lost faith within the wrestling community. So consequently, he really wants to, he wants to make justice for himself this evening. Tanaka with a standing headlock and Diamond holds on too. Again. You know what? Oh, was, I saw that. Tanaka grabbed a little bit of the hair. But mind you, the referee was on the back side and could not see it. Uh, a lot of people like to have a lot of hair, and then there's some who don't have much. So if you've got a lot of it, you kind of give yourself an advantage and a disadvantage depending on what somebody's going to do with it. Patrick Tanaka, the sensei, a martial artist. One of the things that you learn in martial arts. Woo! Woo Shoulder tackle by Tanaka. Oh, I like the speed that they're moving. Oh, right to the midsection. Come on. He was coming off the ropes. That's why I was starting to scream already. Oh, man. I'm surprised there's not a hole in the middle of the ring where Diamond planted him. One of the things from the professional standpoint that I'm appreciating in this match oh. here is how these moves are being executed. I mean fast and right on the money and with that sharpness and that velocity. And that, when, when you see that move coming, you know, it's kind of like every one of them is a knockout punch. Oh, man. This exemplifies one thing that I've said so often, and I know that you will validate this point, Dick, that in order to be a professional wrestler, and certainly a championship wrestler, not only do you need to be able to dish it out, but, brother, you better be able to take it, too. Absolutely. I would have to say possibly my pain threshold at one time. I don't know about any more. May have been one of my big assets, or maybe I was just thick-skinned and numbed enough because I took some terrible beatings when I looked at some of the older tapes from some of the great wrestlers, some of the battles I had with Ganya and, and Billy Robinson. Uh, they did some pretty fair pretty thrashing on me, but I survived them, and that's what you're saying is the truth. You have to be able to really take it. I'm telling you the truth, because Tanaka's back in there, and he took a heck of a whopping from Paul Diamond, and he's back in there now in control with a standing headlock. We've brought this point out before about how when people get in an accident, a lot of times an automobile accident, they uh, don't feel any pain. Right. And that's because the body, I think, produces its own adrenaline, morphine, or painkiller. Right. And there's no question. I know that's exactly. When your guys are catching tackles and running into each other, and the oh. these guys are moving. Look at this. Oh, oh. it's about kick by the right, right, right on the button. What could possibly allow this man to get up if it wasn't some kind of adrenaline running through his system that... that Numbs the feeling. Now, that's Otherwise, he'd have to be out cold. Big Diamond had to know that that's in Tanaka's arsenal. He's seen it do it a thousand times but, to a thousand but, other but guys. But at the speed they're moving, oh, you've got to understand something. I mean, the guy goes over. He's only naturally going to turn around. But he, he, <coughs> maybe he hasn't had that much experience. Maybe Tanaka is showing he's the one with more experience and more knowledge. He's got so close. Just inseparable when they were tag team champions. 
and all the years that they put in together coming up. Working and working and working and taking match after match after match See, now, until Tanaka, they became the champions of the world. Tanaka is the smaller man. Ooh. And as far as I'm concerned, the execution and the moves, the punches that he throws, the karate kicks and the karate throws that he makes, you can see the speed in which he throws Reversal. them. Oh! could be it. Tanaka could very well take Diamond's own mistake and turn it into a win for him. He's dragging Diamond into the up. Uh, and by into the lower region. Lower abdominal section. That's a judgment call on the part of the referee. Well, the referee apparently questioning the sensei, Pat Tanaka. And what I question about Tanaka is why is he moving in faster now on Paul Diamond? That is a dumb move on his part. Now, of course, he's going for the hole. Look at this. He's going to finish him off. It's a scorpion. It's a, it's a version of the Indian death lock. Putting the pressure on it. Referee asking Diamond if he's had enough, if he wants to give it up. And now uh, Tanaka's got a hold of the ropes. Camera, the camera angle is perfect to show you, well, you how can Tanaka see that is taking advantage of using the ropes where they are, making it impossible for the referee to see what he's doing. He can suspect, but he doesn't see. Here's another perfect example. LaRusha well, tells him, all right, break it up, break it up. I'm not sure why. Was he? Did he feel he was into the ropes? Apparently, he felt that he was into the ropes. Reverse chin lock. Now, you got to understand something. There's a consistency on Tanaka's part. Not only was there tremendous pressure on the legs of Paul Diamond, but also on the small of the back. And the Campbell clutch that you're seeing right here is a continuation of that. But Diamond has got a lot of strength, and that's going to work against uh, Tanaka. That's his greatest asset. This guy is just as strong as they come. Uh, Shoulder tackle him down. Goes to Sunday. Dropped down by Tanaka. Into the ropes comes Diamond. Oh, man! What a move by Tanaka. He's down for the cover. Two. Oh. He covered him too casually. If he'd have hooked the leg, he may not have done it. Too often, guys think they've done something really devastating, and they cover the guy thinking, oh, well, I can go home easy on this one. You can never go home easy. He had me convinced. Had me convinced that he had done something devastating. And I think a lesser man than a Paul Diamond. Watch this by Tanaka. Oh! Back suplex! What a move by Tanaka! Oh! oh man, I'm telling you, Tanaka is taking his former teammate to school. He's showing him everything. More Olympic matches. Oh! More Olympic matches have been won with that back suplex that you just saw yeah. than any other. And you're looking at a young man that is the master of it, one of the greatest amateurs of all time, and certainly one of the great professionals, the sensei, Pat Tanaka. Just chucking right hands, and now a headbutt with his former partner. Diamond with another right hand, a third right hand. Off the rope, cuts hard rock, and the sensei is down. Back to his feet now, begging for mercy. He said, no more, Paul. Come on. A boot to the midsection by Diamond. Into the ropes goes Tanaka. Oh, oh! He put him into the lights and on the back of his head. And you're seeing it all on ESPN. What a main event we've got for you. <laughs> wow! Uh, was that 360 plus? 360 plus. Oh, man. And still just the two count. I mean, there's some things that words just don't describe. We talk about the adrenaline, oh. kind of, you know, and, and the old body putting out the morphine that dulls the pain. Yeah. But when you have a rivalry, I think everything goes up even more to a higher degree. He's hanging on to that rope. He doesn't want to go to the other turnbuckle. Oh Super kick by Paul Diamond. Got it. And he's got Tanaka. Reversal, I think he's going to telegraph, and he did. Look at this. First goes Tanaka. I thought that. Oh, who's this? Sato. Akio Sato in the ring. Akio Sato. The Asian assassin, Akio Sato in the ring. For whatever reason, I guess he felt he had to save his brother. And Tanaka and Sato collide. And Diamond puts Sato down. Diamond closed line, Tanaka down. He closed line, Sato down. Tanaka rolls out of the ring. Paul Diamond.
one to the winner by disqualification. As far as I'm concerned, fantastic match. Yes, Absolutely sir. fantastic. I will agree with that, but Diamond didn't want to win this thing by disqualification. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. And sure. he really had Tanaka set up. I'm convinced of it after this front face. Oh, first you, can see, you can see where the head went right down in the back. Now we got Gets in there, and here comes Akio Sato. And again, you see how fast Akio Sato was there, coming out of nowhere. But I mean, of course, uh, whatever the understanding of the feeling is between the two of uh, Akio Sato and uh, Pat Tanaka. Ha! And a collision between Sato and Tanaka. It didn't work real well. Paul Diamond takes care of business. Let's go to Eric Bischoff. Paul Diamond. When is the situation between you and Pat Tanaka going to come to an end? I'll tell you, I don't know, Eric. I've tried to send this sportsman like one-on-one, -on -one, but it seems like every time I wind up down in numbers, two-on-one -on -one or three-on-one. -on but to be successful, you can't be stupid. you got to have some brains. So I figured out I can't get it done by myself. So Taka, Tanaka and Sato are so keen in showing up together. Maybe they like to form a tag team. And I will find a good partner, and I'll be there, and maybe we can sell the state once and for all. Well, I hope so. The situation between the sensei, Pat Tanaka, and Paul Diamond continues, and we'll be right back.